I'm at the uh, Hillsborough show and I've uh, just uh, photographed a uh, very uh, ornate uh, French bronze clock and candle opera set um, and uh, 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 rings on hour uh, half hour it, oh it rings on the hour and half hour circa 1860 and was owned by generations of a single family and it sells for uh, $6,500 uh, and it is uh, from uh, antique clocks of Santa Cruz in Aptos, California. So I'm here at the Hillsborough Show and I'm talking to, what is your name young lady? I'm Susan Cushless. Susan Cushless, could you uh, spell uh, your last name yes. please? K-U-S-L-I-S. And uh, where are you from? Um, I'm from Aptos, but our store is actually in Soquel, which is California. Okay. And uh, so uh, you have the uh, the bronze clock I just uh, photographed, and you were telling me that it was uh, uh, held captive in the same family for a for long time? Four generations. Well, how did you free it? <laughs> Well, Did it take some it cash? Actually, it took some cash, but it was actually a very sad story because it came to the current generation. Uh -huh. It was a son. He looked at it and went, I don't think so. I'm not keeping this. He, and wait, wait. He the son? Sold it. The ungrateful, no good son? You got he, it. he looked at it and he says, This thing is packing? Out of here. <laughs> and so that's how we ended up getting it. Well, His great grandmother yes. had actually had bought the cloth in France. Oh, and she'd actually bought it in France? She actually bought it in, in France. In 1860? Yeah. Wow. I know. So that was that right. was the most unfortunate thing for them, but great for so us. That so that worked out for you because yeah. you have obviously a fabulous clock. Thank uh, you. Speaking of which, is there a, another great uh, timepiece that you have here that... Uh, this one is also, this one This is, one here. This one is called a boule. It's called a what? A, bou, a French boule. This one, which one are we talking about? This one, this okay. One. This is a French boule. And would you spell boule for the uninitiated? <laughs> B-O-U-L-L-E. Okay. And it is a Napoleon III. And this one is from the 1700s. And the clock is unusual because this is tortoise shell and it was only used for a certain period so this of time. is tortoise shell and what would it normally be just wood or what what makes that unusual the fact that it's tortoise shell um they didn't use it for a very long period of time they I see. only used it for one section of time in the 1700s I see. so for during a short what decade would you say that the the, the, the great tortoise shell decade <laughs> the great tortoise shell 1700s 1700 so but that's the there's 10 there are 10 decades right. yeah, this, in there is going to be toward the end of Toward the period. end. Of okay, so yeah, so, so it was so either so 17, well, about yeah. seven. So so the most 17, June 32nd <gasps> of 1783. Okay, we. Oh, but there's only we, 30 days in June. Well, we've got oh, we've got that one. one. Second then. Well, we'll go over it. We'll fi we'll yeah, make. We'll figure it. that out later. Yeah. You know, in, anytime anytime we tell you. Closer than 30 years span. Yes, we're lying to you because we don't, we can't there space isn't it. Any much so let's that. say when you're so time, uh, when you're stopped by the police and they ask your age, that you there's a range of 30 years there that Boy, you might. That uh, if you're over 200 years old, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> now part of the problem with this now, as you may know, fish and game is not allowing any types of animal products to be sold. So it has to be over a certain age before it can be sold. Uh, when you so, say fishing game, you mean the federal or the state, state fishing? State, state. state. I, so, Cause I've heard that yes, the state, the state went a little crazy. They yes, have. They did. And, and that they're, they're backtracking from the, the insanity that they inflicted on this industry. Oh, I know. Hopefully they will. Because they were taking back ivory. I mean, we watched it. We've seen you, you it. You want to talk about non specifics, the bigger problem you have is. And that this clock is called a swinger. Now, what makes this thing a swinger? It's a little old to be a swinger, I would think. Well, it's it's the county clock of Boston. 
What's the, uh, what's, what's the we Pony don't like to alliterate. Alameda. Contra Costa Coney. I'm kidding you. Uh -oh. Contra Costa Coney had a big article back in the 70s about the swingers. We don't remember that. No. <laughs> the only reason this is called a swinger is because it swings. Okay, it's what called a swinger because it swings. Yeah. How old would you say this thing is? This? Yes. Probably... 1850? No. No, no. More 18, or less? 1880. Okay, about 1880. Is this French? No, this is American. So this is American. So this is an American clock made about 1880. And uh, how much do you want for it? $2,500. $2,500. And uh, how does it keep on going? Do you wind it up somewhere? You wind it once a week. You wind it once. So is there a name for clocks that you wind once? Is there a called seven-day clocks? Call them, we call them eight-day clocks. An eight-day clock. Because so just in case, week. so you've got a, you've got a few hours leeway there. It doesn't yes. have to be exactly once a week. An eight-day clock. And uh, did you tell me how much you want for this? Twenty-five hundred. Twenty-five hundred. Okay, fantastic. Now we're still uh, talking about the swinger clock, and it's made from a spelter. It's a pot metal. And uh, uh, part of the thing that makes uh, these interesting, uh, the, now this is the, um, which is the hunter and which is the... Uh, the fisherwoman has the, the fish? So, so this is the fish, this is the fisherwoman, she's a fishwife, yes. and this is a, this oh. is a, this is a huntress. That's this is not Diana, says. right? This is... So far as I know, it's not Diana. Okay, this is not Diana, and she's, she's carrying, a... she's carrying her pheasant. Yes. And this, uh, this, uh, this uh, woman here, she's carrying a fish. Where's her fish? Right over here. Okay, so there's the, f oh yes, there's the fish. Now we can see the fish and we can see the pheasant. Fantastic. So, and they, they usually break off because I assume they're delicate and they, um, okay, well I will get close up. 